Turning now to the campaigning for the presidential election. The DPP's candidate Lai Qingde on Friday took part in activities for young Taiwanese who are going abroad on exchanges and other activities organized by the Overseas Community Affairs Council. Meanwhile, close to 20 pro-Taiwan NGOs gathered to show their support for Lai and the DPP maintaining its majority in the legislature, as they condemned the opposition candidates' pro-China policies. Vice President Lai Qingde on Friday took part in training programs for young Taiwanese who go abroad on exchanges and the like, reminding the students to thoroughly appreciate culture both at home and overseas. Absorb all the good things about foreign countries and bring them back to help our country. But what's even more important is to make friends, to see foreign customs and eat delicious food. Each of you taking part in these programs will see Taiwan's society of democracy, pluralism and freedom, a society founded on a nation-state that upholds human rights. Lai is striving to have young people identify with his policies. The results seem to be seen in polls for the 2024 presidential election, where support from young people continues to rise. But pro-Taiwan NGOs are also urging Lai to redouble his efforts on issues of concern to the ordinary people. <laughs> What we haven't done yet includes judicial reform, education reform and youth employment and education. We should be able to meet the expectations of young people as much as possible. These pro-Taiwan NGOs gathered not only to give advice, but also to support Lai's presidential bid. They hoped that pro-Taiwan lawmakers would retain their majority in the legislature and made it clear they couldn't stand the China policies of the opposition candidates. <laughs> Terry Go once said, you cannot eat democracy. Ke Wenzhe has said, sovereignty is nonsense. He actually dared to say this kind of thing. Hou Youyi represents the KMT. He actually said he would accept the 1992 consensus. We must enable Lai Qingde to win with a high number of votes. Only this will show that Taiwan is moving toward becoming a true democracy. We oppose Chinese warplanes and warships traversing the Taiwan Strait. Aren't they trying to provoke us? Vice President Lai Qingde must speak up louder. I can't hear the voices of opposition candidates. Has the KMT, TPP or Terry Go made any kind of condemnation of the Chinese military provocations in the Taiwan Strait? The NGOs blasted opposition candidates Hou Youyi, Terry Go and Ke Wenzhe for not daring to utter a word against Chinese provocations. These NGOs are putting their full support behind Lai, forming a Team Taiwan to fight for victory in the upcoming presidential and legislative polls.